The sight of Tony Gwynn lacing liners through the hole between third base and shortstop was one of the game's most perfect images of the 1980s and 90s. It was a labor of love for the iconic Padres outfielder, who worked as hard at the craft of hitting as anyone ever to play the game. Anthony Keith Gwynn was born May 9, 1960 in Los Angeles, California. By the time he enrolled at San Diego State University in 1977, Gwynn was one of the state's top prep basketball players. And by his second year in college, Gwynn was starring on both the basketball court and the baseball diamond. In 1981, Gwynn was taken in the third round of the Major League Baseball draft by the San Diego Padres and in the 10th round of the NBA draft by the San Diego Clippers. The 5'11 inch Gwynn chose baseball, and in 1982 he made his big league debut, hitting 289 in 54 games. It would be the only one of his 20 seasons in which Gwynn would not hit 300. In 1984, Gwynn won the first of eight National League batting titles, hitting 351 while leading the Padres to their first National League pennant. He would lead the league in hitting each year from 1987 through 1990, and again from 1994 through 1997, finishing just six points short of the Magic 400 barrier in the strike-shortened 1994 campaign. Gwynn paced the National League in hits seven times, tallied 3,141 hits, and stole 319 bases. He was named to 15 All-Star teams, won seven Silver Slugger awards, and totaled five Gold Glove awards for his work in right field. His 338 career batting average ranks fourth all-time among players who started their careers in the live ball era. His tireless work on the field and in the cutting-edge world of video analysis made him one of the great students of hitting that the game has ever known. Tony Gwynn was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2007.